Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today's session, St. Matthew chapter 1, reading from verse 18 through 25. The birth of Jesus the Messiah. It says, this is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah happened. His mother Mary was engaged to marry Joseph, but before they marry, he learned that she was expecting a baby. She was pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mary's husband Joseph was a good man. He did not want to cause her public disgrace, so he planned to divorce her secretly. But after Joseph thought about this, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to accept Mary to be your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. Give him that name because he will save his people from their sins. All this happened to make clear the full meaning of what the Lord said through the prophet. The virgin will be pregnant and will give birth to a son. They will name him Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the Lord's angel told him to do. He married Mary, but Joseph did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born and he named him Jesus. So today we see from the scriptures, Jesus Christ is born to Mary. The birth of Jesus Christ was different from any other births mentioned in the genealogy or anywhere else in the scriptures. It tells us or it gives the record that Jesus Christ was born, but he was not without a human father. The facts surrounding this miraculous conception was stated with dignity and also with simplicity. Mary had been promised in marriage to Joseph. The wedding had not yet taken place. So it is called the betrothal or in our times the engagement period which is binding. It should not be broken, and if it is broken, it would have to be by divorce. So although an engaged couple did not live together until the marriage ceremony, unfaithfulness on the part of the betrothed was treated as adultery, and this would be punishable by death. So during the time of Mary's betrothal to Joseph, Mary, being a virgin, she became pregnant by a miracle of the Holy Spirit. An angel had previously announced that this mirac miraculous event would have taken place with Mary. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, he says, and the power of the highest will hang over you, Mary. You will be overshadowed, according to Luke 1 and verse 35. So this happened and then a cloud of suspicion and even scandal begin to hang over Mary's life. In all of human history, there has never been a virgin birth. A virgin who found herself pregnant. So they had one possible explanation. Even Joseph himself did not know the true explanation of Mary's condition. He might have been indignant. His fiancée comes and she says, 
apparently I'm pregnant. In his heart, he's thinking unfaithfulness. Secondly, he's saying, what could have happened? This now is complicated. He loved her, but he desired also justice. So he decided in his heart, I'm going to break this engagement off secretly. I want her to stay away from this public scandal or disgrace. And truth be told, he knew that they were going to implicate him in all of this. So while this uh, gentle, deliberate man was mopping out a tragedy to protect Mary, the one that he loved, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The salutation, Joseph, son of David. God had to do this to allow Joseph to become so conscious. Son of David, you are royal. You are pedigree. Listen. Don't worry about the things that look as if they are misgivings. Prepare yourself for this unusual event. Israel's Messiah King is going to be born. Which you let there be no suspicion concerning the purity of Mary. Her pregnancy was a miracle. It is of the Holy Spirit. So the angel revealed the unborn child's sex. His name. He says we're going to call his name Jesus. Which means Jehovah is salvation. Jehovah shall save his people from their sins. This son that is going to be born, he is savior. True to his name, he would save his people from their sins. This Christ is a child of destiny. He was Jehovah himself visiting earth to save people from the penalty of sin, from the power of sin, and eventually he will save from the presence of sin. As Matthew recorded this event, he realized that a new era had dawned in the history of God's dealing with the human race. The words of a messianic prophecy long dormant was now springing into life. Isaiah's cryptic prophecy was now fulfilled in Mary's child. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled that which was already spoken by the Lord to the prophet Isaiah about 700 years before Christ. The prophecy of Isaiah 7 and 14 speaks of a unique birth that was going to take place. It is a virgin that was going to conceive and bring forth this child. This child would be a son. The name of the child, he said in Isaiah 7 and 14, Emmanuel, meaning God with us. He's not being called Emmanuel today as we call him Jesus, but the day he's coming on his second Advent, when he will reign King of Kings and Lords of Lords, and truly Emmanuel, God is with us. He will reign King of Kings and he will reign Lord of Lords. So, as a result of the angels intervening, Joseph abandoned his plan to divorce Mary. Their betrothal, he recognized it. And the Bible says she gave birth. And after she gave birth to 
her son in obedience to the angelic visit joseph called the boy's name jesus thus the messiah king was born the eternal one he entered into time the omnipotent one became this tiny infant the lord of glory he veiled that glory in a human body and in him the scripture says dwells all the fullness of the godhead bodily colossians 2 and verse 9 so we see today that jesus christ is born of mary he is the promised one the one who comes even at his birth with a purpose and that is to die so that he can save fallen men from their sins god bless you today as you accept jesus christ as lord personal savior of your life knowing that god sent his son into this world because he loves us not to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved god bless you today thank you again for watching and may god bless the united states of america